Hi my little butterflies. This video is gonna be my TBR for the Black Author Readathon. So the Black Author Readathon is gonna be going on the whole month of February with the intent of reading black authors. Um, there is a bingo card that is included that I'm going to put probably here um, so you guys can see it. Um, I'm also going to link uh, the Instagram down below, the YouTube channels of the um, host down below as well. And from what I understand, this readathon was created by Marche from Mommy What You Reading on Instagram. And she got all of these lovely women together to host this readathon. And I'm also going to link all of their stuff in the description box, like I said, below so you guys can go and check them out and watch their videos. There's also going to be a live show at the end of the month for the readathon, um, I think on the 27th. Can't remember the time, so I will post the times down below or somewhere on the screen. I have to go back and watch the video and see what time the live show is supposed to be. But the point of the readathon is, of course, to read more black authors, to read more black characters. Um, there is a bingo card. Um, there's going to be prizes for the bingo card, so you can get either prize. You can get prizes for either doing like an entire blackout or getting bingo some kind of way. So how I tailor my TBR is now I'm I'm just gonna go for a regular bingo, right? Okay, but then um, when I figured like of course one book can cover more than one fucking prompt, I was like I might as well go for a whole fucking bingo. I mean a whole blackout bingo. But for now, like my initial intent is only to get the one bingo because I'm not gonna overthink it. So I picked out my books to do a one bingo. It's gonna be a diagonal across. Simple and easy. Yeah, I took the easy way out. But then I also have books on my TBR that will give me a complete fucking bingo. And I think it's only seven books, okay? Because they can hit multiple prompts. So I think the way that I did it, if I look at the prompts correctly, the seven books that I have will give me a complete blackout on the bingo card. So that's what I'm going for, okay? I'm going all in. The first book that I'm going to read on my TBR is Baller Baby. I'm looking at my phone because they all like Kindle books because <laughs> I took it as a time to clear out my Kindle library as well. So the, it's going to be Secret Baller Baby by Alicia Black, which I'm going to put here. And that book covers the prompt for sports romance, read a novella, and workplace romance as well, I think. Because he's a, a star at league basketball player and then she's like a reporter and she's they end up having some kind of romance because she went to go and do a piece on him so she's interviewing him and everything and then shit ignites so yeah that is on there and if it doesn't cover workplace romance that is okay because i have another book on this list that covers workplace romance as well that i know 100 percent goes for it but i think that one will cover work workplace romance as well and it is a kindle book I think it was like maybe $2.99 or $3.99 if you're still looking for books to throw on your TBR. Then the next book that I have, and I'm going through my original bingo first because that's that's my initial thing that I want to get out of the way that I at least get a bingo, is Quarantine with a Celebrity That Bought Me by Jamila Jasper. Look, I know the title, the title sounds shady, <laughs> but... Um, this covers dark romance, rock star romance, interracial romance, and my new to you black author. Um, so that covers those props. So that, I prim primarily looked for, for, I was looking for rock star romance, and then it just coincidentally did dark romance as well when you're telling me. So initially I think her parents sold her to him. What fucking black people you know do shit like that? I don't know. Personally, I don't think that's a black thing, but her parents sold her to this guy and they end up being quarantined together and he wants to make her want him as much as he wants her. It's like 365 kind of shit thrown in here. Um, yeah, that's that. So that would take care of my bingo. And that was also a Kindle book, so you can get that for your Kindle if you're looking for that as well. Um, I think that one was like mm, 99 cents, 2.99 in that area. But yeah, so that take care of my bingo because the other two prompts for that diagonal is to post a TBR, which is this, and then a wrap up, which I'm gonna do. So that does that take care of that take care of that. The other five books that I have on my TBR that is gonna continue that is gonna completely give me the blackout. That I'm strategic. Is the next book that I have is Get a Life by Chloe Brown, which was recommended by Brandy Shanae, which was awesome. This one I got on Hoopla for free. <laughs> it's the audiobook. Um 
but get a life chloe browns by telia hibbert this one covers enemies to lovers interracial romance real and realistic contemporary so that knocks out those right out the box i have a couple of them on here that actually does interracial so that'll be that that's one that's pretty popular on book two is a ya romance um i i don't remember like the entire premise but i know that they have like some kind of beef and she can't stand him and then they start to like each other by working with each other i guess i don't know something in that area like i've seen it on booktube a lot so i thought that'd be an easy one to, to pull out then i have one of my favorite authors like when i saw paranormal romance on here i already knew who i was going to it's the next book in the series for me too so it worked out perfect and it's um alphas and angels by nisi p i always talk about nisi p on here she's one of the best african-american paranormal uh romance authors that i have ever fucking read like i love her shit her shit be nice and spicy and it's set in louisiana so the dialect is just right i know exactly what the fuck they talking about i feel like i these are my neighbors like had me all thrown into it so when i saw paranormal romance i already knew what i was doing this is part of a series uh, when i was talking about um the beast the beast that tamed me yeah the beast that tamed me one two and three um this part of that series but the beast that the beast that tamed her one two and three starts off the series and then it starts breaking off into sub series following you know other characters in the book this is part of that so if you want to get into it start off with a beast that tamed her and i'm, I'm gonna put it up here because I, I see that a beast that tamed her the beast that tamed her in that area start off with that book and work your way through the series then the next book that i have is fake dick my boss by isabella brooks which is it takes care of interracial fake dating romance um romantic suspense author that's new to me and workplace romance because he is she, he's the boss she's the secretary and um i think i don't know if this works oh i forgot about the single parent one there's single parent romance on there and i don't know if this one counts for because he is divorced so technically he's not a single parent but um he tells his ex-wife like to throw up to throw daggers at her that he has a girlfriend so the he now he didn't like got himself in a pickle and he talks his secretary into um coming with him and pretending to be his girlfriend just around his family and if she does that then he'll give her the promotion that she wants the promotion that she wants so but then i think she ends up falling they end of course they end up falling in love with each other but i said it's suspense because we don't really know where it's going to end all i feel like it's something that's going to keep you guessing because I'm, I'm sure at some at some point she's not going to know what's real and what's fake and like is he acting or is he serious i feel like hearts are going to get broken at some point in this book and fixed and shit so that's why i said it's suspenseful this one was kindle this one was a kindle one i can't remember how much it was though but none of the kindle books that i have on this list are expensive i shop kindle to be cheap honestly then the next book that i have and i kind of feel like i'm cheating because i read this one already so i'm gonna reread it because i couldn't i couldn't think of another one that can dot off all of these and it's the um, it's bingo love volume one and it takes care of romantic graphic novel mature romance friends to lovers and second chance romance because uh, oh, I don't want to tell the story. Never mind. But it, it takes care of the second chance romance as well. Um, but I read this already. But I, I, I couldn't think of another graphic novel that would do as many. I didn't have anything for mature romance. And I thought, I'm like, well, they turn into old bitches in this book. <laughs> and I'm like, what? That's like, it's a, a second chance. I'm like, it's a graphic novel. It hit, it ticks off the other boxes that I needed it to tick off so that's that and that one i read on hoopla so it's on hoopla for free if you want to try hoopla instead of buying it and then this last one i wasn't too excited for because i don't really do historical like historical fiction romance i don't i don't do that um i, I like reading historical fiction but i'm historical romance like I, it's a difference for me so at, at first i wasn't gonna worry about doing a black eye because i was like i don't really want to do that one but um this one was also suggested by brandy shanae and it's um a duke the lady and a baby by vanessa Rowley. i don't know i just i don't do historical romance so i don't know um she says it sounds good i mean i hope i like it but i just i don't know and i feel like i've heard it on 
booktube before it may have been it might have been from her in another video but i'm sure i've heard it on booktube before i just i don't know if this is gonna be my cup of tea but i'll try it and this is also something that's on hoopla as well um they have it as an audiobook and an ebook i'm not sure which one i'm gonna do yet but um that's also on hoopla if you're looking for something free so yeah with those seven books should be enough to get my blackout yeah seven i have to make sure so with those seven books that should be enough books to hit a whole blackout if i read them all but my primary target is just a bingo because that's something easy i know i can do that because one of them is one of them is pretty short so i can do that so <laughs> yeah so this was my tbr for the black author readathon um so happy to be participating because it seems like it's gonna be fun they're gonna have um a lot of challenges like different challenges for like it's like social media challenges to do throughout the readathon the live show seems like it's gonna be fun because there's like so it seems like when it's a lot of like a lot of different personalities like a lot of like fun people it's this is gonna be a fun readathon like i see it this is I see it. it's gonna be a fun live show too i'm like i'm excited so yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe go ahead and look at the description the description go ahead and look at the description below <laughs> to find all of the participants of the black readers of the black author readathon the host and yeah i hope to see you guys participating come february um don't use that excuse of oh i didn't read a lot of black authors because i really wanted to read romance this year because that's what a lot of y'all do i'm not saying a name let me just be general y'all always say oh i didn't read a lot of black authors for February, even though it's Black like, History Month, because I really wanted to read romance, where this readathon is is tailored to that. So you have a lot of Black authors and Black romantic books that you can read if you want to get the love vibes. So don't use that excuse. Unacceptable. So yeah, Stitch is my spirit animal. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.